I always feel like I got into rap music backwards. Yeah, I kind of started with like Rick Ross. I got mad into like Gucci Mane, real like trap stuff. But yeah, now musically, it's all just the dirty underbelly of the UK. Off your mag for life. <laughs> do you know what I mean? When I got me in a mood, busy with nothing to do. Feel like she wasting my time. Love her, that's just what we do. Ain't like no flower, no bloom. I felt my head in the soil and couldn't tell you about the best of it. When I'm gonna say anything. Last one I got. You like that? Baby one. Doesn't look very happy. Yes. I think the thing with being DIY is fundamental, I think, to music. There's just something beautiful as well about being involved with something that no one else really knows about. The last few months have been wild, just been selling loads of mag, been playing shows. I interviewed one of my all time idols. Honestly, I've never really had much faith in myself, but I do believe at this point that it could actually be a possibility, which to me is wild. Lost my marbles and I'm addicted. Too silly and I'm partly Eddie, I'm a hardy man. I'm addicted. So it's broke, but a hardly man. I'm a TARDIS fan. Relocated. I wheel it, wheel it, wheel it, wheel it. <laughs> Mag is basically a magazine stocked in off licenses, effectively. It follows sort of like UK hip hop, jazz, just music that me and Greg like, basically. We've got stockists in Amsterdam, we've got stockists in London. But yeah, no, we've got stockists all around the UK. Stockists in Leeds, Nottingham, I think in Glasgow, a few as well. I interviewed Slax Bianchi and I was like, oh, on the off chance, like, can you name anywhere that we could possibly email to get stocked in? He was like, yeah, yeah, cool. There's this place, this place, this place. I'll go there tomorrow and chat to them and see what they say sort of thing. So that's the beauty of it as well. People want to help. People want to see us grow because people think we're doing something important. It's my way of life now. It's very strange. I do everything I do. I sort of try and find a way to incorporate Offy Mag back into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a scary thought that underground will eventually not be underground anymore because there'll be a new layer of underground. But yeah, there's there's something very beautiful about DIY. The majority of the music I listen to are people that I'm friends with, to be honest, or people that I know or have met through that, the magazine. The Nokia Mansion boys, the Parafiction boys, Derek DAC, you've got Pump Fake, loads of stuff going on. We're trying to all work together to sort of build something special, I think, because you could actually create a scene that's like cohesive rather than just a bunch of different groups doing different things. I will end up DJing for everyone because nobody else has a DJ. I will stand there behind the decks for six hours straight. I don't get paid. And I do that because I want to see people do well at what they do. Music is a feeling like music should give you something. So yeah, I feel like when I'm on stage, I'm always getting something. Not sure what that is, sorry. It's never sadness. <laughs> Put it that way. JD no coke unless you offer it. My mind's like the internet, always buffering. Developed by the code, it's got me stuttering. Chilling in pavilion, waiting for the time till I become oblivion. Skin rough reptilians, stand up to the leashes with distorted features. Carnivorous greedy creatures, they're out to eat ya. Looming like the reaper. I am genuinely just surrounded by like some crazily talented people. Me and Greg on stage at Jazz Cafe with uh, 616, Devil Gang. It's me and Wick. Yeah, it's my goat, bro. And that was backstage at Apple Sap. I got it at the banger thing, yeah. Sports not right, it's fucking, it's literally a mug holder. <laughs> Shout out to my boy Bone Slim. Look at this for merch though. It's a memory stick. Box of matches with his music on a memory stick. How wild is that? I spent 30 quid on this. Imagine spending 30 quid on this and getting it, and this is this is what you spent 30 quid on, and that's it, done. 30 quid. <laughs> it's not even it's photocopied as well. Just love it, bro. I can't not have it, do you know what I mean? I'm, I don't have any money either. Like, not to, not to 
be able to spend on this sort of shit. But it's just it's just important to me to support like that. That was a tenner for a box of matches, but it's just my mate. You've got to support that. I've recently just been like been through a spell of like depression. I was just going through some craziness in my brain, but it's just how you deal with that, I think. And instead of instead of just wallowing and just being sad at home, I would be out here trying to meet people. I just got a radio show. I'd be trying to learn. I learned how to DJ to sort of like cope with it. And it's taken me a while, but it has helped at this point now. Off Your Mag is like the biggest antidepressant of all because it allows me to do what I love, show it off to people. It's them little nuggets of joy that just like help you. And th that's the thing, the nuggets are always getting bigger as well. The more you do it, the bigger your nuggets get. Anyone could give me 10 grand and be like, start a magazine. It's, it's all well and good. We could be working with like massive, massive people, but that's kind of not the point of it. We want to be like tastemakers. We want people to look to us for the latest music. And it doesn't necessarily need to be the next big thing. It's just people that we like that we think other people will like. I don't need anything from it. I don't particularly want anything from it. I just want to see people who have talent do well with their talent. And I literally, all I do is just dig, 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 dig until I find someone who has like 100 plays on a tune and it's the biggest banger I've ever heard, which does happen regularly. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that to the bank and I will always cash that in. And uh, yeah, no, it's a beautiful thing for sure.